Sally, you spent your whole career working on neurodevelopmental biology and stem cells. <coughs> what initially attracted you to this field? I think it was really the, the fascination with the brain, with the complexity of the brain, um, how a structure such as that forms. Mm. That was the real excitement. And the bizarre thing that I was trained in simple systems. Um, <laughs> the so brain is in, not in a simple <laughs> Right, in vertebrate biology. Right. And, and I so appreciate that. What I felt was we could bring in vitro analyses to break down that complexity mm. and do single cell clonal analysis to try to create a simple system out of the complex system of the brain. Right. And that was really the starting point for, mm. for my work, for my career. It feels like we're getting really close to the promise of stem cell mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. Is there still really a need to study basic developmental biology? Oh, absolutely. I think that we're just scratching the surface of what stem cell research can do, what it means. But that knowledge base is all coming from developmental studies. So what do you think about development as a journal for the field? I think the journal is it's exceptional. It's still the go-to development journal. Um, of course, there's there's a, a lot of competition in that space, but that's good. That's good for the field because it means there's a lot of people interested in it and reading it. As a researcher, I think um, a lot of us think about ISSCR. We think about the meeting and we think about the satellite meetings mm -hmm. and, and that sort of stuff, but there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes, isn't mm -hmm. there? Can you tell me a bit about that? The Society is also really aware of how important it is to create guidelines for the conduct of research and that was led um, by George Daly and this is really a key document for people to understand or refer to uh, so that they know that they're working within guidelines that have been really vetted mm. by an international committee mm. um, with experts from all different fields. Mm. And has ISSCR also spent a lot of time looking at the, the crackdown on stem cell tourism? Yes. Because that's important, isn't it? Yeah, very important. So we have created a website called A Closer Look at Stem Cells uh -huh. that is to inform patients, our prospective patients, so that they can go and they know what questions to ask. Mm -hmm. They know what would make a good clinical trial. Mm -hmm. They know what the risks are yeah. about getting involved in a clinical trial. Okay. And it's absolutely key that we get the word out about unproven therapies. Sally, I think you're probably an inspiration to many women um, mm -hmm. trying to carve out a career in science. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there are some challenges that women more than men would face uh, in, in trying to make it in science? Mm. That's a good question. I think that if you see the attrition rates, um, you have probably more than half PhD students are, are women, hmm. and then there's a big attrition coming mm. in yeah. to the first positions. And why is that? Um, it shouldn't be the case. Do you think that that coincides somewhat with when um, they're trying to start a family and, and could that be you know better better support for women that are trying to you know w w yeah. parents in general when they are mm -hmm. you know traveling to conferences for example you know if right. you're limited by your options for childcare and you don't get those opportunities to network and, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff yeah. I mean you know if it's if it's a choice of course uh, then it's fine but if it's not a choice if it's because there are not the support systems that we mm. need, then, then that, that's wrong. And we need to fix that. We need to have support systems that allow women to have families mm. uh, and careers. Mm. And again, you know, there's, we've seen a lot of improvements in that regard, and, I, and I'm hopeful that it will keep moving in the right direction. Sally, thank you so much for sparing the time to come and talk to us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks.